hey guys welcome back to my channel today's video is all about writing personal statements and essays that will get you into your dream school so let's just get started with today's video so some grad schools have specific topics and prompts they want you to write about or some others leave it very open-ended but whichever one it is this tips will help you step up your essay game and make sure you get into that school so tip number one is stick to the instructions whether that is word count or topic make sure you stick to whatever instructions they gave you their specific things or specific ways they want you to write and they've said those things in the prompt stick to it don't write so many words above the word counts that they want in fact if you could write less the better so make sure you stick to whatever instruction you've been given by the school tip number two make sure you tell a story it's a lot easier to communicate your motivation when you tell a story that about your experience or something that happened that made you so interested in this or how you got to this point where you're so interested in this program tell a story and this doesn't have to be deeply personal or something so private but stories are just easier for people to follow you're taking them on a journey and this will really step up your essay game tip number three is stay relevant no matter how much um the kind of story you want to tell you need to make sure it's still relevant you are able to tie that story to your why you're able to use that story to connect with the admissions committee and also to communicate your why to them so you want to tell a story that is relevant to the topic you want to tell a story with which you can say this is my story and this is why you know this is how this story has shaped me to you know or has influenced my decision to pursue this program so tell a story that is tip number two tip number three is stay relevant make sure whatever you're writing is still connected to the topic or the thing you're trying to get across to the admissions committee tip number four is make sure you provide context and this is so important for international students when you're applying to a country where you have you know you've never lived that's not where you grew up that you you don't understand the system provide context because some people write absolute numbers meanwhile this doesn't really make sense like you you say oh i managed four employees out of five you know you don't even say out of five but you should actually say out of five or you achieved 80 percent that's better than saying oh i increased revenues by thirty thousand naira which which is not a lot you know in the country you are applying to but you kind of want to provide context you want to say things like oh i was able to increase revenues by 14 percent or i was the first to do this in my community you know you have to help them to understand don't just throw in you know terminologies that you use in your countries that isn't easy for the admissions committee person reviewing your essay to understand so you need to give scale you need to help them understand the scale of your achievements because they won't. If you just write, I was able to increase revenues by a hundred thousand naira. Some, like many of you watching, don't even know what country has the currency um, called naira. You, you get what I'm saying. So you want to, you know, convert that. If dollars is the relevant thing, you want to convert that to dollars, and you want to say, hey, I improved revenues by eighty percent. I was the first to do this. That is so important. Context help them understand the scale of what you've achieved or how important that achievement is for you and why you're really talking about it in the essay tip number five is your first paragraph is very important think about that person just having five seconds although they should they should review your essay for longer than five seconds but hey think about that person just having this concentration span of only 10 seconds and they are only able to fully read your first paragraph what do they say after reading your first paragraph do they want to read more on the or they're just like ah, nah she's not great so you want to make sure you put a lot of effort into your first paragraph in your first paragraph you should be able to establish you know your why why you are applying to this program what has brought you to this point and really you know talking about how this program would help you just one line get to where you're trying to get to so your first paragraph is so important you want to make sure the committee person reviewing your essay wants to know more about you already things after reading your first paragraph that you will be a great addition to the class so you want to make sure your first paragraph answers key questions like your why why are you applying to this program what has led you here you know so make sure you focus on that in your first paragraph and make it as you know 
clear as possible don't write a very long 20 line first paragraph you know write a five line first paragraph or a six line first paragraph that is very clear and punchy and the person just wants to read more and learn more about you another tip is to address potential shortcomings so if you had a low gpa or a low test score and you know your essay or personal statement is an opportunity to kind of address those things and provide an explanation and you don't have to say oh my gpa is low because or you know when uh, this is why my gpa is low or this is why my test score is low that's not what i'm talking about but you need to indirectly provide an explanation like oh maybe one of the stories you share was some experiences that happened when you were in college or you were in university or undergrad that may have led to your gpa being low so you don't have to say oh this happened to me this was happening in my family and as a result my gpa is low but you can actually tell a story around oh maybe you lost a major family member maybe you had to move to another city maybe you you know there was something happening in your program at the time and you know just describe those experiences and the person can connect you know when the admissions committee is deliberating over candidates this person can say oh this person had a low gpa but i read that you know um in her essay that she had a she, she had a major loss when she was in college or she was suffering some kind of illnesses when she was in college and this might explain why this person had a pretty low gpa so that way your low gpa doesn't really count against you anymore because you've sort of provided an explanation even though you didn't explicitly say in your essay that this is why my gpa is low but you can provide context this is what was happening in my life around the time and every reasonable person should understand that if you suffered certain losses or certain events happen in your life around a certain time they would impact how you know the outcome of whatever else you were doing so providing that context in your essay is great opportunity for the um, admissions committee to understand why certain things happened in a certain way the next tip is provide specific examples i've read a lot of essays and people are very generic they just say everything without saying anything if that makes sense but like try to be specific if you're trying to talk about why you are a great candidate for this program and you want to talk about relevant experiences you've had try to you know chip in some specific things like oh was there a certain tool that you used while you were in your former job that you think you know um helps you to even become a better candidate for this program were there certain things that happened you know were there certain events that happened in your former job that further helped you understand there was a gap you needed to fill but be specific be specific you know don't just write things that are very generic being specific just helps the person reviewing your essay to know okay these are actual events these are real things that have shaped this person to this point and that would make this person a really great candidate for this program so if you're wondering how do i implement some of these strategies you've mentioned how do i put all these um, things to use in my personal statement well i did a mini demo of an actual great personal statement on my channel i did a video i'll link that video up here so you can check out that video and see what it looks like implementing these strategies that i've talked about and how a student you know implemented those strategies and how you know ended she ended up with a really great essay it i definitely recommend you watching that video and really seeing what this looks like from paragraph to paragraph and you know just putting into use these things that i've mentioned so make sure you click that video i will link it up here and also in the description box make sure you check it out so i hope you found today's video really helpful if you did let me know in the comment section also make sure you click that like button um so that i know that you want to see more videos like this and really you help other people that need to see this video you help them to get it because that's just how the youtube algorithm works other people don't see this video if you don't click that like button okay so please click the like button and also don't forget to subscribe to my channel and i look forward to seeing you guys in my next video